Hi student, this is Sivakumar, 11th standard mathematics, chapter number 2 continuation of exercise 2.4, now problem number 7. If the equations x squared minus ax plus b equal to 0 and x squared minus ex plus f equal 0 have one root in common, one root in common and if the second equation, particularly this equation has equal roots, then prove that ae that is equal to 2 times of b plus f. Here we have two equations, condition number 1, 1 and 2, these two equations have one root in common, I consider the common root as alpha. And condition number 2, equation 2 has equal roots, then we have to prove this result. Okay. Let the common root be alpha. Proof. Let common root be alpha. Therefore, equation 1 implies in equation 1 and 2 that x can be replaced by alpha because alpha is one of the roots. So, replace x by alpha in equation 1 and 2. Alpha squared minus e alpha plus b equal to 0 and alpha squared minus e alpha plus f equal to 0. Alpha squared minus a alpha plus b that is equal to 0 and equation number 2 implies alpha squared minus e alpha plus f equal to 0. Solve these two equations. I am eliminating alpha squared. Change the sign plus becomes minus, minus become plus, plus becomes minus. So, I am subtracting these two equations. Alpha square and minus alpha square get cancelled. Here we are getting E alpha plus E alpha minus E alpha. E alpha minus E alpha plus B minus F. B minus F that is equal to 0. Okay. Between these two I take alpha as common. If we take alpha as common you will be getting E minus A that is equal to minus f comes right hand side plus f plus b comes right hand side minus b. So, alpha that is equal to f minus b divided by e minus a. Let it be number 3. Second condition given equation 2 has equal roots. So, I consider the roots are alpha and alpha. Let the equal roots of equation 2 be alpha and alpha. Now, sum of the roots. Sum of the roots that is first root is alpha even the second root alpha. We know the formula for sum of the roots. Sum of the roots formula minus b by a that is equal to alpha plus alpha to alpha. So, in the equation itself we have small a, b, c and all. Small a, b, e and f and all. So, that I have taken capital B and capital A over here. What is a and b? In general, A is a coefficient of x squared and B, capital B is a coefficient of x. In second equation, A that is equal to 1 because the coefficient of x squared is 1. Here it is. And the coefficient of x that is minus E that is capital B. So, capital A that is equal to 1, capital B that is equal to minus E. 1 and minus E. 
1 minus e which implies here minus b that is equal to minus e minus into minus plus e otherwise one more step minus of minus e divided by capital A that is equal to 1 that is equal to 2 alpha which implies minus into minus plus e that is equal to 2 alpha and let it be number 2 equation sorry equation number 4. Since the roots of equation 2 are equal delta the discriminant value you know that is equal to 0 the roots are equal delta delta equals 0 this is a condition delta formula b squared minus 4ac that is equal to 0 which implies b squared that is equal to 4ac so here we have a and b i write that c also over here c in second equation c that is a constant term what is a constant term here f c that is equal to f now we can substitute b squared which one is b minus e minus e the whole square which implies here this is minus e the whole square 4 into a value into c value a value a value that is equal to 1 c value that is equal to f 1 and f 1 f which implies e square that is equal to 4 f that is equation number 5 now we have to solve 3 4 and 5 okay now i take uh, equation number 4 equation number 4 implies in equation number 4 we have e that is equal to 2 alpha e that is equal to 2 alpha e that is equal to 2 into alpha alpha value can be replaced by f minus b divided by e minus a f minus b divided by e minus a This is taken from which equation? Third equation. Which implies you cross multiply e into e minus a that is equal to 2 into f minus b. Which implies e into e that is equal to e squared minus e into a that is a e that is equal to 2 into f 2f minus 2 into b 2b which implies this e squared can be replaced by 4f e squared that is equal to 4f 4f minus a e that is equal to 2f minus 2b it is taken from equation number 5 okay which implies 4f plus 2f comes left hand side minus 2f minus 2b comes left hand side plus 2b minus ae comes right hand side plus ae because you are asked to prove that ae that is equal to look at that ae that is equal to 2 times of b plus f so that i am retaining ae in the right hand side minus ae comes right hand side plus ae okay now which implies 4f minus 2f that is equal to 2f plus 2b that is equal to ae we can take 2 as common 2 times of f plus b that is equal to ae so what it is ae that is equal to 2 times of f plus b or b plus f or a e that is equal to 2 times of b plus f f plus b b plus f are same so problem number 
7 is completed. I'll be teaching that problem number 8 in the next video. Thank you children.